Let's see whether you can hear me any better now. I've turned the microphone on on the camera. That might help. We're out there, we're out there, we're out there, we're out there. We're out on that one, and that one, and that one. Yeah, so this should just pull off now. There we go, bottom of the case, pulled off as we need it. Now, <laughs> now that's 
annoying. I thought this was a copper heatsink. It looks like it's metal. Looks like it's aluminium. So let's take these off and just check. some sort of thread lock on those. Three out there. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Oh no, it is copper. Thank goodness for that. So we can clean that off and we can put the, the liquid metal on that. Um, so I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing else that I can upgrade in this. So my memory, we've got 16 gig, that's the most it can have. The Wi-Fi is a tiny little Wi-Fi. Intel based by the looks of things. But you can make a wider, you can put a wider one in. Probably to give it Wi-Fi 6 possibly. And I do know that one of my, one of my USB ports is not well. I've just noticed that that has come out of there as well, which is not good. Why has that come out of there? Because it wasn't clicked in properly. There we go. Now that's clicked in properly. It wasn't pink. It wasn't dinky dude in. Right, okay, so graphics chip possibly, and then CPU. So I need to get some thermal, uh, some uh, electrical tape now, put it around there to mask it off. And then we can start cleaning up and putting the thermal paste on. A few moments later. Right, so I've got my isopropyl alcohol. And we need now to clean here, clean there, and we should be good to go. Now, have I got a tiny little pot? I've got a pot. I can put some IPA in. Because we've not got much of that left, half a tub. There we go, just enough like that. Hmm. Right, okay, so. Ooh really not good yeah that's really dry oh look at that that's all caked up as well yeah you can see through that now that's much cleaner much nicer. Okay, so that's the majority of that off there. And luckily, there's a bit of a very faint square that I can use to put the, um, the thermal paste on, the, the liquid metal paste. big piece of something just dropped onto the floor there. What was that? Oh, yeah. Oh. What was that? That wasn't it. Oh, there's a screw. No. No, I don't know then. It was just something sounded very strong, very hard and heavy. Oh, yeah. Horrible piece of old thermal paste. Yuck. Right. Appears to be just falling off. So, 
that isn't good, but it shows that it's really old. Okie doke. So, another do on there. Take that off like that. Nice. And we'll dry it. And that's as clean as we're going to get it. Nice. So that's ready for the thermal compound. Okay, now onto the board. So we've got thermal paste to get off here. On the CPU die. Luckily, it's not gone anywhere other than on the actual CPU. Sometimes it can spread out, and that's what we don't want to happen with the thermal paste with the gorilla. The sorry, not the gorilla with the thermal grizzly. Right. So dead clean on that one. to do dead clean on this one so this is one we've got to be more careful on because it has the components actually on the surface of the chip and I don't really want to break the chip so we don't want any shorts at all Let's see if we can do a bit of this Should be right with that so we've got the i7 8th gen here and then this i believe is the radeon mobile m5300 no m530 or m m580 maybe so that's the mobile chip that's the mobile graphics and four gigs of dedicated memory um so it's not it's not a bad it's not a bad cpu that is not a bad graphics processor it plays Grand Theft Auto 5, yeah, GTA 5 at, I think, 70 frames a second, if I'm counting. It's got 1920 processing units, shader units, so it's pretty damn good. But anyway, it's good enough for what I need. So, next thing to do is take my electrical tape and mask off. Just like that, very gently. Just the bits that I want to cover with liquid metal. Because it is so conductive, it will it will kill your board. Now, I should use capstan tape, but I haven't got any, so I'm going to use electrical tape. And it should be right. It should do the job splendidly. Right, so there we go. So we're masked off. And now I've got my conductor knot. Thermal Grizzly metal heat spread and paste. So what do we get in this pack? We get instructions. Yes. So we get instructions. Warning. Do not use with aluminium heat sinks. Nope. It's definitely copper. 
that's fine. Yos, so we're alright with that. So it's it's a genuine thermal grizzly. There's the code. I can scan the QR code just to prove I'm using the right stuff. Not sponsored at all this video. Uh, it would be nice if it was, but uh, no, I've had to buy this myself from everybody's favourite um, auction site. So clean the cooler with the included cleaning pad. So let's do that then. It's going to be the same, it's going to be an IPA soaked pad. But we'll do it as it says. Right, so clean, 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 clean. And leave to dry. Right, okay. We've got two little spudges with it in the set which is good for using for spreading out, I believe. I'm just going to check again on here just to make sure that that pad is clean, as is that pad. Yes. Now, this is my first attempt at this. I've never done this before, ever. So, I'm going to try and see if this works. Now, I know other people have done it and it's spurted everywhere. So, I want to try and put it on something that isn't going to spurt everywhere and go all over the motherboard. Okay, so I found the top of an old Pringles tin. And this is a gram of this stuff, so people are saying, let's clean that off there. I've seen on YouTube and on the internet that you need half a grain of rice. Is that enough maybe or is that too much let's see so that's how much I've got on there tiny little bit Sorry if my big head gets in the way. So that's that one done, that's completely covered. tiny bit not enough so there we go let's try that shall we shiny that looks on there so the next thing to do is the heat sinks put that on there so there's obviously not enough on my 
expunger or a tiny bit more on there like that and that should do both of the areas bit like that and then this bit I can do like that a tiny bit there yes there's a tiny bit there right going to get on either of those. So there we go. So that's on the heat sink and then we've got that on the actual chip itself. So what I'll do now is I'll very gingerly take off and there we go so just make sure that we've got it full coverage yes we have excellent so that then goes back that way like so and we screw it back down like so and we screw the video chip back in the, the heat sink on the video chip piece of thermal, old thermal paste that goes on the motherboard. <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, so. Take the 
set that off there. Put that back in there. Hopefully we can use that again. I doubt it because I'm not sure whether you can or not, but it's there in case we do need to use it again. Now, I'm going to try and do, move all this to one side, we've now used it all. I'm going to flip this bad boy over and then we'll run it and we'll see what sort of temperatures we've got. And I'm hoping it's going to be really, really low. 